If you didn't see what Jalen Green did tonight, I highly suggest you go to YouTube, Twitter, or wherever to watch the highlights and watch some film because there's no words for it. It was amazing. We'll talk about and touch on the game in just a second, but I gotta say this before we get into anything else. I'm going to talk my stuff because I was 100% right. For the past three to four months, I've been trying to tell all of you that Jalen Green is a special, and I mean a very special player, and I label him as a generational talent. And every single time I label him or call him a generational talent, and I say it all the time, all of you are quick to say, yo, Matt, you can't throw that out there lightly. You can't say that about every player. And yes, I understand that. I understand the magnitude of saying that Jalen Green is a generational type of talent. And I've been saying that about him for over a year now, and the closer we got to the draft, I was standing firm on my word. And I've seen where some of you have said that, yo, Matt, he's good or he's even great, but I don't know if he's as good as you're saying. And I'm not going to even go look for a clip where I said Jalen Green is my favorite player in the draft because I think I've said it in over 10 videos. I said it before the draft, and I'm going to continue to say it. Jalen Green was the number one pick in my eyes in the draft, and he should have gone number one because he is, without a doubt in my mind, the best player. Not taking anything away from Cade Cunningham. He's phenomenal. He's going to be a star. But Jalen is slightly better. I know y'all think I'm talking, but I mean this. There's one word to describe Jalen Green, and it's special. There's not a single player in the NBA or over the past 20 to 40 years that you can compare his game to. How many players have a 40-inch vertical, can hit a step-back jumper, and shoot the three ball consistently, but also pass, and are also roughly 6'5"? Some people have him listed at 6'6", six six, but still, it's around that area. This may be a very hot and controversial topic and statement that I'm about to say, but I see a lot of a young Michael Jordan in Jalen Green right now. The way he holds himself, he's got that chip on his shoulder because even he said he should have went number one. I think he's going to scare a lot of people. I'm not saying he's going to be better than Michael Jordan, but all I'm saying is, the way he's coming into the league, it's reminding me a lot of their situations. I could go on and on and on and on and on and on about Jalen Green. I love this dude, love everything about him, and I love his game. But let's talk about what happened tonight with the Houston Rockets. It's a Sunday night, so I don't expect or I didn't expect too many people to watch the Houston Rockets play a summer league game. But if you did see it, you got to saw how special Jalen is. He had 13 points in the first half, and he finished the game with 23 points, and he shot 50% from the field and shot roughly 44% from the three-point line. His official stat line for the game was 23 points, five rebounds, nine for 18 from the field, and four for nine on threes. If you just look at that stat line, you may think, eh, I mean, that's good, but only shooting 50% and under 50% from the three-point line, that's not crazy good, but I'm telling you, just trust me, you had to watch the game. It's not the 23 points that stand out. It's the way he did it. He has one of the smoothest and cleanest step back jumpers I've ever seen and his footwork is way too good to be that young. He knows how to use his body, he knows how to initiate the contact and then bounce off of it to get an open look even when it's contested. He's insanely explosive, we know that, but what's scary about him, at least in my eyes, is the fact that he can shoot lights out already. Most young stars and young legends when they get to the NBA like LeBron and Jordan, they weren't known for their shooting ability, but they were known for getting to the goal. Whereas for Jalen Green, he can get to the goal, but he can also shoot at a young age. In tonight's game, he showed a full effect and just showed everything that's so smooth about him. He showed mid-rangers, three-pointers, attacking, and everything. Do we need to pump the brakes? Because let's take a reality check. This was a summer league game, and he's not playing the best of the best players, and it's a summer league. Do I need to say anything else? Nobody's really trying 100%. I'm not going to overlook this performance, and here's why. Because I think this is only 50% of Jalen Green. I think he could have went out there and dropped 40. And I also believe he had 23 points going into the fourth quarter, so... He probably could have scored 40 tonight if they needed him to. I do want to throw in there too that his good long-term friend, Josh Christopher, pitched in 13 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists, and he looked really good, but 
his performance is going to get overshadowed by Jalen. And I'm not going to lie, when I was watching the game and I was watching the film, I didn't even pay attention to Josh Christopher that much. The only highlight play from him that stood out to me was I guess him and Jalen have been working on it for years, but he crossed over and hit a step back very similar to what Jalen Green was doing tonight. While we're talking about Christopher, let's actually give him some credit and I think he's going to shock more people this season than Jalen will. All everybody is talking about how good Jalen's going to be and don't think that Josh, yes, he's happy of course, but he's going to use that as a chip on his shoulder and he's going to be more motivated to play even better. I don't know if he's going to start on the team, but he could easily be a good six man and possibly win six man of the year. And the best part about Christopher's game to me is the defense he brings. That's an underrated part. This is a small sample size of what's going to come in the future and think about it. Josh Christopher, Jalen Green, they're not even all that comfortable just yet. They just got there. What's going to happen is the more games they play and the longer they're with the team, they're going to get more comfortable and more confident. And every basketball player knows this. Confidence is probably the most vital part to basketball in general. Jacob is a type of player I see as a energizer, almost like a Draymond Green. No, they don't have a similar play style, but they both bring energy to the team that could help. All in all though, solid debut for Jalen, solid debut for Christopher. It is a summer league, but at least they played good. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, wait on. Join the family. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.